keep this screen clean without any buttons or junk to utilize that, just touch and go. But as John said earlier, our touch is special. It goes beyond the screen. You can see if I touch down below in the gesture area with my finger here, it lights up. It's responding to my touch kind of like magic. It's like something organic. This opens up a whole new world of gestures. Let's start with a simple one. If I want to go back to the list, I can just flick back in the gesture area from right to left, like I'm turning the page in a book. Just like that, I zoom back out. Now, what's great about this is that it means that all basic navigation is all just gestures. Give it a flick, give it a tap to open, give it a little swipe to go back. There's no buttons or anything cluttering up the screen to do the most fundamental navigation. And because it's all just gestures, it's completely ambidextrous and easy to do one-handed. If I'm using my other hand, I can flip through here, tap on who I want, and I can give that little flick in the other side of the gesture area, because gestures are very forgiving about their location. So, let me show you another gesture that we can use. If I want to start something new, I start in the gesture area and swipe up. And my launcher slides up like a sheet of glass right over what I'm doing. And there's the familiar palm launcher with three columns of gorgeous icons. To look at some photos, I just tap that. And now my Photos application also slides right up. Again, the UI for Photos is very simple, just that direct manipulation I showed you. I want to look at some pictures. I tap on them. I want to scroll through my pictures. I just flick through, find the one I want, tap on that one. Even here, I just flip through stuff to get to what I'm looking for. And then when I'm done, I just give it that flick back, and I'm back where I came from. If I want to start something new, anywhere I am, I just bring up the launcher. I don't have to go to a new place. Don't lose my context. Take a note, just tap the icon, and there we go. Note slides up. Now, this is really simple UI, and the hardware of the device that John showed you is also really simple. But many of you love those four application buttons that you have on your Trio and you had in your original Palm Pilot that give you one action access to everything that matters to you. Well, with WebOS, we still want to give you that power, but we want to keep things simple. So again, we use the gesture area. This is a slightly more advanced gesture. If I start down here and I drag up, bring up this quick launch wave. And you can see, here's those favorite icons. <laughs> when I release, I switched that application instantly. So that was one action. I still have one touch access to everything I want, but everything is kept simple and clean. Now, this is that kind of uh, newness you were hoping to see here today, right? Yeah. Now, we do think this is beautiful, but it's not good enough. Fundamentally, this method of operation it's the same as the original Palm Pilot. Every time I want to change focus and do something different, I have to bring up that launcher. I have to hunt for the icon. Whoa, where was it? Oh, notes, right there. And then switch to that. It's very modal, as Ed said. What we need today is the kind of flexibility we're used to from the desktop computer, where we can really flow between one activity to another. But you can't just shrink a desktop computer. It's not going to work. You need a new metaphor. And so instead of a desktop where you pile up windows like sheets of paper on a broad surface, we imagined a deck of cards that you can shuffle and sort even in one hand. Let me show you what happens when I press the center button. I zoom out, and here's all my activities, notes, contacts, and photos, each in their own card right where I left them. I can go into one of these activities, look at something else, and when I go back out into my card, I can see exactly where I left off. My cards are live, completely. And this makes them so much more powerful than favorite icons ever could be, because I can really see what's going on in my workspace. And because it's a workspace, we of course let you organize it. 
So if I want to put notes at the front, I just press and hold to pick it up, drag it over, and release. Just like that. Put contacts at the front, drag and release. Now, if you want to clean up your deck of cards, you're done with one of these, you're done with a particular activity, that's easy too. I just throw it away off the top of the screen. Palm has always made sure you never worry about losing your data. All your changes are saved automatically. You won't find a save button anywhere in this UI. So when I'm done with notes, I can just throw it off the top. This allows me to focus on what I'm trying to do, not on running programs or saving files or all those computer things. It's so simple and direct, there's almost no need for UI. There's no closed boxes, no drag handles, no window panes, no buttons. You just have these cards that you shuffle and sort, and when you're done, you throw them away. Now, how's that for some real newness, hmm? Now, Palm WebOS is more than just about how you flow between activities. It's how those activities are connected to each other and to the web. All of our applications communicate dynamically with the web, bringing info together into one place. And we call this Synergy. Let me show you how Synergy works by going back to contacts. As Ed said, everybody's got information in multiple places about the people that you care about your Outlook, your Facebook. With Synergy, we've brought all that information into a single place, your contacts list here on your pre, without having to merge or migrate. You just log in once. Now, since you have some of the same people that you know at work and as your friends on Facebook, we have to be smart, because you don't want to have duplicates in this list. So you can see this little stack of photos in the upper right corner, right next to Sophia's name. That indicates that her contact is linked from multiple sources. If I tap on Sophia, I can see her card open up, and I can see there's three sources there. I tap on that. There's information from Google, from Outlook, and Facebook. But the best part is I can focus on Sophia the person. I can just look at all her phone numbers here, and I don't get duplicate entries for information which is redundant. And more importantly, I don't have to worry about was her home number on Facebook or was it on Google? All the information is brought into one place for your convenience, but the data remains independent as it should. We apply these same principles of synergy in the calendar. Those accounts that I showed you in contacts they're here in my calendar as well. I can see I have a work meeting at 9 in the morning today and some Google meetings, uh, Google calendar events, my meditation at 4. It's all put together into one list. It's color-coded. Now, some days, getting all that information in one place can be a little overwhelming. So, of course, we allow you to focus on just the information you care about. If I just tap in the header here, I can see all the different calendars that are integrated through Synergy into Calendar here. I've got all these different Google calendars, and there's my work. So if I just want to focus on that, the other events disappear, and now I can just worry about the one thing I need to focus on tomorrow. Now notice we have this gray cross-hatched time here. That indicates busy time on other calendars. So you never have to worry about accidentally double booking yourself if you are uh, focusing. Now, one of the things Palm has always been known for is intelligently showing you as much calendar information as possible. So here again, we've done something special with the time that you're not using. Right after John's staff at 9, I have this empty block of time, six hours free. We compress that time. You can see these little accordion folds here at the top of the screen so that the next events are visible. That way, you're never surprised by an event that you didn't see coming just because you've got some empty time. If I want to use that time, I just tap on it. It opens up. And as Ed said earlier, Palm has always focused on the most brutal of the competition, pen and paper. So if I want to utilize any of this